Howdy, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving a day late. I hope you all had a great holiday. I certainly had a great holiday. I was with um, my dear friend Karen and her partner Vigo. Karen and I have shared a Friendsgiving guest list for a number of years, and uh, it, was, it was pretty awesome to have a group of people back under one roof. You know, we all learned a different way to celebrate holidays over the past couple of years, but it's nice to see that there, in fact, is progress and, you know, that there are certainly the, the, you feel the safety of a vaccine and, you know, it's nice to just be able to have a breath, literally, and, you know, be surrounded with the people you love. Um, it has been, you know, a crazy, a crazy time since I've spoken to you last. Uh, I apologize. It's been forever. It's not that I don't have a lot to say or love to hear myself talk. It's just I've had a lot of moving parts in my life that have consumed me. And I'm thrilled to say I'm on the other side of a good bit of it. As many of you know, my father has grappled with, uh, you know, his mental deterioration through dementia. And it has been, you know, of course a challenge for all of us, most importantly, my mother, but we're finally at a position where my dad is being cared for. Um, he's in a nursing facility and we are all very much at peace by that. He is in a safe place. He is being, you know, beautifully cared for. Both mom and I are, are elated with the um, facility and sis as well, uh, Billy as well. So, it's just nice to have him settled into a place where we can all take a sigh. Um, it has allowed me to kind of consider what my future looks like and and going going forward with how do you how do you figure out what the last ten years of your work life looks like? So now that I have this little bit of freedom in my mind and I'm not worried about my pop, those are things and conversations that are coming up for me. Uh, it's beautiful to see my mother in a place where she is able to catch her breath and um, recapture some of her life with, you know, she is in great health considering, you know, her journey to Philadelphia and her heart issues. She really troops along and has really been able to get back in the rhythm of what those golden years look like. She's done some traveling. She's been home to see, you know, her friends and family in Jamestown. She's currently at Billy's. Um, she'll do a little traveling, I hope, through the winter months, but it's good. It's nice to see Mama really kind of with a new lease on life. Um, so anyways, I just, I wanted to take a moment, as I always do as we start the holiday season, and simply say that I wish everybody, you know, a safe and wonderful time from Thanksgiving through the new year and then on beyond that. But it's just, um, when we reflect on gratitude, I, I live it. I'm, I'm really, really thrilled to be, you know, in the place that I am and surrounded by people who I adore and love. Um, I started this off with, you know, my friends giving reflection. Thank you, Karen, for all the years of just utter joy and hilarity and madness and uh, fun recipes and all it was it was it was a really great afternoon um this year i made something new that i will make again i took a um stovetop stuffing mix or box stuffing mix and i made it by the box's recipe per the box's recipe except i lessened the liquid by half a cup and once it was done and cooled, I added a whisked egg and a quarter of a cup of almond flour, and I pressed it into a flatbread. And I baked it on racks, kind of 20 minutes on one side, 20 minutes on the other side, until it would get crisp enough that you could lift it. And then I topped it with caramelized onions, cranberry, and apple, and um, a cheese that was called cru but you could use any mild of uh, uh, Fontana cheese would be nice. Or, uh, a mild Swiss would be nice. It was delicious. And then just cut it into squares and served it as an appetizer. So it, that was a, that was a good twist this year. Anyways, I'm rambling. I have a lot of work to do at my desk today. And I just wanted to say thank you everyone for being in my life.